Hello everyone and welcome to episode 105 of the 10 minute mulling challenge. This week I'm gonna jump in onto the weekly challenge from the Discord server again. If you don't know what that is, check out the link in the description to the Infancia Discord server and then join in on the weekly modeling challenge there. It's been running for over a year now, thanks Arvid, and every week there's a new theme and this week's theme is Cyber City, so I couldn't pass on that one. And I'm not gonna be able to model a full city, but it also says in the theme explanation there or in the theme announcement that you can do a building or something like that. So I'm probably gonna go for a little tiny block maybe or just a single building, I'm not sure yet. And I know that it takes time to model that. I don't think I'll be able to do much in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna set myself uh, the 10 minute limit of course and see how far I get. And then I'm gonna just uh, do some uh, bonus time where I improve on that model. And if you wanna see how to set up this palette, check out my learn low poly modeling tutorial the one with the yellow thumbnail, and you'll be able to see exactly how you set this up and how you download the palette and everything like that. So check that out, and the uh, link is in the description, of course. Without further ado, let's get started to model a bit of a cyber city. Ready? Steady? Go. I'm rough. Tab. E. So, shift space, G, and control, sh scale, shift Z, and that's going to be our building site. Well, that's going to be the block. I'll just do E to extrude, and to there maybe, and then we'll do control R, and then I'll put E to extrude this one to there, and should we do, uh, maybe I'll control B to bevel that on, and then here, I think I'll do control R, we'll put an entrance here, I to inset, and then I'll control R here as well for a loop cut, and then we'll do, what happened there? Oh yeah, that's right, control R, and all I'll do I to inset again and Alt E, extrude long face normals and hold control or Alt if you want to just get the proportions correct there. So that's going to be the entrance. And then here, Shift D to duplicate, move it down E to extrude, uh, nine minutes, uh, Control B. I'm just going to put some weird shapes here. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm modeling. So E to extrude down to there. And then I think I'm gonna, it's gonna be weird in the future, I think. It's gonna make no sense the way they build, strangely, no? I don't know why. You'd think that everything would get smarter, but I'm just gonna control R this a little bit and E to extrude this one. And here we go. Uh, I'll slant this one, control B for bevel. And uh, I'm gonna put loads of pipes and stuff here. So I think I'll extrude these a little bit as well. Extrude this out. And it'll probably make more sense later on when we switch the renderer, hopefully. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, Shift-D to duplicate, right-click and do subdivide, and then we'll do loop tools add-on here, and circle this one, scale, E to extrude, and L to select the link, S to scale, Shift-Z to scale it on everything except the Z-axis, L to select the link, Shift-D to duplicate, Y-axis, and then I'll just do a few of those. We should put something here, Shift-D to duplicate. There's lots of uh, weird uh, add-ons here in the future. A lot of electricity, they need more computing power or something for all the AI, who knows. Uh, but here we should put some cyber, cyber-y type of windows, shouldn't we not? So I'll do those maybe. I to inset, I to inset again. And then E to extrude, and we've got a mission going here, so I'm just gonna put those onto like a pinky color there. Cyber, cyber, shift space D, duplicate, E to extrude, do it. I don't have uh, mi screencast keys on, sorry about that. Now I do. And here I'm going to put uh, like a, an AC unit. So I to inset, control R. There, I'll do right click, subdivide, I to inset again, twice so we don't get individual. And then we'll go to edit again, circle, scale. And then I to inset again, move it in a little bit and E to extrude in. We'll do a, like a I to inset again and rotate around the Y axis, press Y. And we'll do this like little propeller thing that I like to do and put some emission there. This will shine later on. And we, of course we need to slant this one. It's always nicer to have it slanted. And then Shift D to duplicate it, put something here as well. How am I doing 639 past so far? Or no, left, Shift B. So I'm just gonna try to get <laughs> lots of stuff that the shadows can bounce off. And I'll tell you what, Shift D to duplicate this one. X axis, there we go. Just a lot of extra geometry there, good. And here, uh, I to inset and E to extrude and I to inset again, maybe. E to extrude and here, just needs 
lots of stuff that can ca catch shadows and things, I think. So it'll look different. Sh that, shift D, scale Z axis, scale X axis. E to extrude that on. And we have to put some big signs here, I think. First, maybe a pole here. Shift D to... No, I don't like that one. I want a square or some something. We'll grab that one. Shift D, duplicate. Scale, E to extrude, and L. This makes no sense, probably. So, Control B, L, Shift D, X, Shift R. And here, I'm gonna put the cyber sign now. So, Shift D, scale, E to extrude, cyber sign. I don't know what that is. E to extrude. We'll do Shift D, scale on the Z axis. There we go. E to extrude that on, and I to inset. Hello. I to inset, I said. E to extrude. Oop. What am I doing? Move that to some black color there. And tab L to select the link. Shift D to duplicate. Scale on the Z. Oh, I've got proportion one. Hit no. I've changed my keyboard now, finally. So I'm not so happy with it because I had to go for the uh, Australian layout in the end. So I'm trying to get used to it. Keep pressing the wrong thing. We'll put another big screen here. Shift D to duplicate. Scale on the Y axis. Scale Z axis. E to extrude. And here we should go. That's a big sign. And then shift E to duplicate, E to extrude. Of course, a lot of extrude. I'm just gonna do one side because we're just gonna render it from one, one side, I think. And L to select the link, move it down, shift E to duplicate. We should put some wires and stuff, I think, as well. E to extrude and then some lighting we'll have to add in the end. It might, it'll make sense in the end, I think, hopefully. Shift E to duplicate and repetition looks pretty good. So I'm gonna just copy stuff like an array. I know you can do the array modifier, but I'll just do this because I don't know how to do it on separate geometry within an object. So there we go. Shift D to duplicate and then three of those. And here should be the entrance, right? So I'll do Control R to loop cut that on. Control R to loop cut. I to inset, E to extrude, Control R. And here's gonna be the door, E to extrude again. And Control R <laughs> and I to, okay, I'll Control R again. Shift select those, I to inset twice, so we get the individual E to extrude, and then put some blue cyan -y type color there. And here's a big window, I to inset, but twice, because we don't want individual E to extrude, and that can go blue as well. And then we should put like some sort of a vending machine here or something. So Shift E to duplicate that face. And uh, scale E to extrude to there maybe, E to extrude again, uh, Control B and Actually, I want to do Control R first, Control B, so we can do this. And then I'll move this in, I think. Okay, I want to Control R it one more time. And move this in. And here we go, here's our vending machine. Uh, we'll do, select those, those. No, I'll just do these. There we go, Control, or no, I to inset twice. Alt E to extrude long face normals. This is a weird vending machine, but never mind. Go pink on that one. And Shift E to duplicate at the top, E to extrude, Control B, and then we'll do here some sort of a hatch, Control R, I to inset, E to extrude, there's our hatch. And should we put some panels here? Yeah, I think so, Control R, and Control R, some sci-fi panels. Control R there as well, move this one down. Here we go, sci-fi panels for the win. Uh, we'll select a few random ones, I think, like this. I to inset twice for an individual. Alt S to scale along face normals. And here could be a sign of some sort. I to inset. Alt E to extrude along face normals. Put that one onto the shiny pink. I'm at 154, okay. We'll just do some more features here. Control R, I to inset. Alt E to extrude along face normals. This is just to get, uh, it'll make no sense what this is. So I'm just going to put some weird features here to make a few more details. It doesn't look too plain. Shift B, and then we'll switch the renderer. E to extrude. And here, I'll do something else as well. I don't know what I'm doing now. <laughs> just some random stuff. Uh, I'll do sh right click, subdivide, circle, scale, down, E to extrude. Uh, that pipe could go all the way to there. Yeah, L. Shift D on the Y axis. There we go. 
and then we'll put something here. One minute to go. Space. Move it to there. Move it up. E to extrude. And E to extrude. Test the scale. E to extrude. E to extrude. Control B to bevel. And then we'll move this thing in. I don't know. They've added this after. Ducted it. Control R. Control R. Alt click on the edge there. Or control kick. Control kick. Control B to bevel. Just for some more features. And 42 seconds. What should we do more? Uh, we can do... Uh, we'll bevel this one, some light to reflect off this. There, I'm gonna add the cables, I think, in the tinkering time. Item right, inset, E to extrude, and here, control R. So, I to inset, Alt E to extrude, long face normals, and here, I to inset, Alt S to scale, and 18 seconds. Uh, we'll put a little door panel here. Scale Z, E to extrude, I to inset. E to extrude and make it shine <laughs> pink <laughs> pink it is and three seconds to go ah okay that's it <laughs> all right <laughs> so there we go it's um it's supposed to be a cyber building and now <laughs> i'll switch to the ev render so we'll see how it looks like so that makes no sense uh, we need some lights that's why so i'll shift a I'll save it first, actually, control S. Shift A, I'll add from the left, I'm gonna add a sun. And move it to here, maybe. And I'm gonna make this color blue. I'll lower the strength to maybe 0, 05. And then Shift D to duplicate, we'll do a red light from the right side. There we go. And I'm going to change the background here of the viewport to black. There. And then we need bloom and stuff, don't we? Bloom, ambient occlusion. And uh, here we should color this one now. We'll do this panel can be pink as well. And so can this one be. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to time lapse the this and then I'm going to summarize uh, what I did after. So we'll see how long I think. I think I'll spend about maybe half an hour or something like that. And I'll just uh, tweak, add, add some cables, I'll add some area lights, and then I'll summarize what I did in the end. So I'm just going to fast forward this, otherwise this video will be too long.
All right, guys, I'm a little bit rusty at this, and uh, I go by the theory, like, if it looks not so good, add more mess, and it might look good. It'll confuse the eyes, so it'll look better. I uh, don't really know what I ended up doing here, but I slapped a lot of uh, junk on here. So basically, I just did a lot of extrude, uh, created a right mess. I added a lot of emissive surfaces, some screen, and then some Korean text. I have no idea. I think it says, uh, let's see, I copied and pasted something. I'm here, it says somewhere, and happy, I think. <laughs> So I just put a, a few of those signs there because I don't know what to put otherwise. Put some air conditioning units, some more, just some random text and a lot of area lights that I just spammed across the scene. And I'm not sure whether I should go for the Eve render or if I should go for cycles. The benefit with Eve is that it's super fast, of course, and also the bloom effect is pretty nice. And you can have the screen space reflection, which is cool. You got these uh, reflective surfaces. And the lighting doesn't really make much sense. I just wanted to add some like dynamics to it, really. So what I like about the cycles render, however, is that uh, it uh, actually emits the light properly and it lights up the surrounding areas. But unfortunately, cycles doesn't support bloom. So I'm not sure. What do you think, guys? Put in the comments below, do you prefer the cycles render or the EV render? I'm not sure. I'll show. Here is the EV render. Here is the cycles render. And why not combine the Cycles render with the EV render? So I, I'll just overlay the two. So let me know in the comments which one you prefer. And thanks a lot for tuning in to this week's episode, episode 105 down in the books. And I'll upload this to Patreon, of course, and share this with you. You can do what you want with it. Uh, have some fun, do some modeling, and jump in the Discord as well. And let's hang out a little bit there. <laughs> All right, that's going to be it for this week. I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon in another video. Take care and bye for now.